Wow, guys. Oh, <laughs> She's, Mimi. Mimi's introing this one. Guys, it's an update video on everything Izzy's. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her catnip plant. She never eats it, but look at how happy it is. She loves it. She loves it. That's just her plant. You can tell that she loves it because her little hairs are everywhere. Uh, all over it. <laughs> Guys, my plants are doing really well. I never used to have a green thumb. Now I have one. Don't I, mama? Aren't the plants doing so well? We love the plants. Oh my gosh. I love her. I have rearranged for the umpteenth time. I think this one's gonna stick though. Doesn't it look good? It's totally gonna stick. Yeah, that's pretty up there, isn't it? Look at the indoor plants. I've taken them all outside. Christmas time, they're all coming inside. Oh, we got fish tank action. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, good morning. morning. Look, if you dim your eyes, you can kind of vaguely see past <laughs> all the algae. <laughs> Well, you need to clean that. I know, I mean, the corals are growing-ish. There's some signs that they're not happy, but I'm so busy, this poor fish tank. Dude. Look, it's a Highlander fish tank. What survives will be bulletproof corals that I will propagate. What doesn't survive, eh. But I do know that we need to also pay attention to the hosting fishies. Yeah, they finally met up, they finally hooked up, those two uh, clowns. There's still Miss Lonely Hearts somewhere, the black and white cow. <laughs> Miss Lonely Hearts? That's what I've named her, him, it. It's gone. I, I hope not. Mr. Lonely Hearts is like 200 bucks. Where what? Are those ones? Mr. Lonely Hearts, it looks like the morning. He's already in the corner. He Where is he? He's on the other two. And then he's in the back. Where? Oh, uh, you might have to go to the I side. can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. It's not, you gotta wash that. But we also need to pay homage to this little sea urchin. He still has some hats. Yep. One of them's upside down. It's okay, it's fashion, babe. Oh, 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 I see him. Right, hold on, I have to focus past the algae. Oh, you see him? Yeah. There he is, little Mr. Lonely Heart. <laughs> These two are like, ah, we're so happy. <laughs> also, look at that burn spot right in the middle. I, that's been there for a few months now. What? Um, that thing is like invincible, but I'm vaguely curious what it is. It well, almost seems like it's a hot spot, but it's not. There's also a burn spot back there. Yeah, like what is that? I don't know. They're aging. They're aging. We all get burn spots. Yeah, I get that. That's just how it goes. Oh, man, look, you have growth. Did you know? Uh, yeah, every once in a while I'll check oh. it out. Like, oh. Babe, that has spread. Your anemone? has spread. It's a terrible problem, actually. It's they're slowly gonna take over. Look, they're killing all those acropora, but like... No! Dude, it, it, removing acropora over rocks is so difficult, so I don't know what to do about that yet. Like, what do I do about so that? So, what have you been busy with, babe? Doing pokey stuff. Let's go look. While we're on our way, Bubba, what are you working on? The server. Server! So, we have a Minecraft server, and it's an interesting thing because it is uh, growing. I have taken it over and uh, we're vamping it up. They've also introduced a plugin that allows Bedrock players, hi mama, to play with Java players, and our server is a Java server. So Bedrock means, I've been learning, Bedrock means that it's like if you're playing on a Nintendo Switch or PS5, 4, I don't know how many PS's there are, or an Xbox, you'll be able to play with us. I'm having trouble with the Switch at the moment, but I got a PS4 on and I'm learning. <laughs> and then we're gonna shoot a video soon on it on game time. But I'm still messing with stuff and learning, so bear with me on that one. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have some changes. Dude, I have a big mirror that I picked up. We need to put it up. I know, I was looking at it earlier today and it looks like it's gonna be a little tricky. Doable, but a little tricky. So, oh. uh, I've been working really hard on Studio Tronics, making lots of cool cues. Okay. So do you see that? Those are my uh, my cue, that's my line of, of cues that I have to finish. Whoa, look at that, he, he, babe, it's like chefs. I know. You have like a work order. Isn't that neat? So you're backed up, huh? I'm very, very backed up. And then what happened was I crashed my machine, which means I accidentally ran the cutter that's right here that's really loud. <laughs> It ran and it actually hit the machine itself. No. Which sounded like a shotgun blast. It exploded, it broke everything. So that sent me on, uh, back around two weeks. Oh my good, babe, is this? What? Is this a filament? Yeah. Did you 3D, 3D print, print something? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's and so cool. It works beautifully. 
Dude, so that's gonna keep this whole area clean. Yeah, I'm gonna start running it 24 seven. Look, you can also see I piped in the back. That's 3D printed as well. Hey, this is so smart. Thank you. Oh, dude, that's great. And then you built that back recently. Yeah, just, so just a few days ago, yeah. What's up with all of these? They are aging. Do you see these little X's? Yeah. Yeah, I marked the ones that are kind of wiggly. They have a lot of movement. That's what we don't want. Oh. So it's like a two, three strike, you're out, it's a big deal. If they move after the second or third cut, after a few months, uh, I just toss them. Oh, can I have them? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, babe, you still have those. Yeah. The early days of woodworking. Yeah, I still want to do more. They're a lot of fun. All right, now we get to see what I've been working on. I gotta be quiet because there's a lot of dog walkers in the morning and I get nervous. Check it out. I built a path. Can I tell you how hard it is to level? Not only up and down, but side to side, it's hard. You have to go by feel. So you go, let me hurry up. <laughs> God, I'm so proud of this. I'm like so proud. I still have to do that, but whatever. We're not looking there. And then you go, 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 go. Look at these beautiful flowers blooming. These are called the bird of paradise. And they're so gorgeous. Uh-oh, that sounds like my fountain needs water. I'm glad I came out here. And then, Baba, is that not beautiful? Look at that. I'm really proud of that. It took me a long time. All right, what's going on here, fountain? You need water. I uh, revamped this with some rocks, and I think it looks super pretty, but I need to go put some water in there. Let me go do that now. Well, now you guys have to find out how I do this. <laughs> Excuse the mess, I've been working very hard. Let's go down. Ugh. I made a little pathway. Man, I gotta weed this area, but I've been so busy with the pathway. Like that's taking me like literally like three weeks. Okay, now we go over and we go beep. And then I'm gonna put it on jet. Come on, jet. Jet, I got to see a dog drink from it yesterday. It made my day. I wanted it to shoot out a bow, so I have a little splitter down there, but I don't think my fan's strong enough. All right, let's see if it still makes a noise. Nope, just needed some water. Just put a little more. Clean up a little. Dude, I love this. Okay, and then I made this so I don't bust my back. Although I think I need to make it again a little better. I just had some neighbors walk by compliment my path. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these holes. So we have something called uh, cicada killers. They're really, really massive wasps and they apparently all live back here. They're not harmful to humans. They are just really loud and scary. The wasps are like this big and like this thick, crazy. And they have base, bugs with base, get me. <sighs> but they're not harmful to humans. All right, let's go look at my garden side. Everything is happy. Okay, this is my privacy fence. What I had in there before died. Then I found these guys that do very well in pots. And I love them. We just attached it straight to the fence because we had it on something before and it kept falling down because it was too heavy. Eddie said it was like a cleat hook. That didn't work. But how gorgeous is that? I am personally gonna make two more and put them over there and possibly line them the other way. That way I don't have to wait for a tree to grow and it's beautiful, isn't it? All right. Let's come down this way. Everything's looking very good. I have a couple of invasive weeds in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. We had a spaghetti squash one day and it was inside the spaghetti squash, it had sprouted. So I took a handful of them and just put them in the ground and look at what happened. They're growing. So I'm just kind of excited to see if any flowers come and if we actually get a spaghetti squash. And that's got too much water. That doesn't like that much water apparently. Oh no, my little airplane fell. I hear cupcake. Okay, oh my gosh, these guys are so happy. Got some more catnip here. Catnip is happy. We got the guy, you see that guy? That came from a bulb. I don't know how or why, but a little one sprouted here, so I gave him a little plot. <laughs> so he can be there. Cupcake, look at that tail up. Come here, buddy. Hi, how have you been? Cupcake loves the garden. He sleeps right there all the time. Don't you, buddy? All right, everything's looking great. My beautiful birdhouse is still birdie and looking cute. Everything's looking really great. I have great ideas for this area. That died. We gotta work on that. That I got from a clipping from somebody else and it's living. Lots of stuff to happen over here in the distant future. For now, Cupcake and I are gonna sit here and enjoy the beautiful morning with all the beautiful plants. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Where's your sister, huh? Where's your sister? We'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Cupcake. 
<laughs> he says to Cupcake, I'm giving you as much as I can give you. He's like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> He's so passionate. Guys, this one's got to be one of my favorites. Sometimes I just feel like I'm part of nature. It's just so pretty. Don't you love plants? I love plants.